number four, the greatest racing game for the Nintendo 64. Diddy Kong Racing, made, made for us by our friends from Rare, who never seemed to make a bad game for the Nintendo 64. Diddy Kong Racing was a masterpiece. It really is one of those games that I'll never, ever, ever stop playing. I remember it like it was yesterday. It was, uh, I think it was my, it was my eighth birthday. It was 1998, January 9th, 1998. That is my, that's my birthday. And I opened up this game and I didn't know what it was, but I asked my parents, or no, I didn't ask my parents. I went to play it. I came back down for dinner and I asked my parents, how did you know to give me this game? And they said somebody at Target or wherever they went to recommended it to them. And thank you whoever that was because it literally molded my childhood. I played this game so many times and I can say I beat it. I beat it Adventure 1, Adventure 2. I got everything in this game. I unlocked TT. I spent so many hours trying to beat TT on all those time trial levels. and. When I think of my childhood, I think of Diddy Kong Racing. I think of all those times I played it with my friend, I played it with myself, I played it at my cousin's house. It is just an unbelievable game. It is one of those games that I can easily consider one of the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. It is so special, so nostalgic. I remember when I would play the levels, they'd all have little tunes to them, and I'd basically add my own lyrics, and today when I play this game, I put it in, I still remember those lyrics like it was yesterday. It's just one of those games that are special, but that I don't care if this game cost a thousand dollars, I would buy it right now. If all the copies on the face of the earth were eliminated, I would throw out thousands of dollars to have the one that was left, because that game is that important to me. So, number three. Super Mario 64. This is another one of those games that completely changed gaming for me. It was December 1997, I believe, and I had just opened my Nintendo 64 for, for, for Christmas, and I went into the kitchen and I hooked it up, and the first thing I can remember is just being blown away by the 3D graphics and then that in that moment quickly slipped by me and the second thing I can remember is hearing the birds chirping on the right and the left side of the speakers on my TV and I'd never heard that before in a video game I'd never heard stereo like that and that is another one of those flash bulb memory moments I will never ever forget sitting in my kitchen hearing the birds chirping and to be honest it took me a week probably I was just a young kid but probably a week just to find out how to jump into those paintings to get into the level because I never realized it but it was still so fun to me just to jump around just to it's just to explore the overworld I'd never played a game before where there was an overworld like that the overworld is something that it's just burned into my head. So this is a game that, another one of those games I'll never ever ever stop playing. And I'll always associate with my childhood. So we're down to my last two, and to be honest, I don't really think I can choose between these games. So let's think of these as interchangeable. Because while the number one game is probably what I believe to be the greatest game of all time, the number two game is so incredibly good, so incredibly nostalgic, means just as much to me as number one. I can't choose between them. So number two, GoldenEye 007. My earliest memories with this game is I had a friend who brought this game over to my house. I thought it was a car racing game. I don't know why. I'd never heard of James Bond, but he brought it over anyways, and I was introduced to it and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So what I did was I took the money from my catechism, which I referenced earlier. I was playing Star Fox that morning. I took the money from my catechism celebration 
and what I did was I bought gold on a 007 with it and it cost me $50 but I still remember my aunt gave me $50 and I took that money and I spent it on GoldenEye. Another one of those games, when I think of my childhood, I think of GoldenEye. When I think of going over to my cousin's house, I think of GoldenEye. When I think of my friends coming over to play, I think of GoldenEye. It was one of those games where, no matter what game I got for N64, I would play that game, and I would play GoldenEye also. I never ever stopped playing this game in all the years I owned it. I would always go back and play this game. I would try to get the cheats unlocked by beating them as quickly as I could. And keep in mind, I was a young kid, but and it's tough to, to play these play these levels and beat them so quickly. But I did it, and I always remember that I could beat everything in the whole game with the exception of Train on Double O Agent, and I never ever was able to do it. And today, if I try to go back and play, I can't even beat the other levels on Double O Agent. I don't know how I did it, but I played this game so much, I got really good. I remember playing four player matches where it was me versus three other people. I'm not the type that likes to brag about things, but that is how much I played this game. I would basically be able to take on three other people at a time, three other kids my age. I was just really good at this game, and because I played it so much, if you played a game that much, if you invested that much time, you'd be good at it too. That being said, the multiplayer it can't be utilized to its full potential today because I don't have three other people to play it with all the time like I used to when I was younger. So what's left is a single player game. And what's left of the game, the single player, is still incredible. The way that you can choose between three difficulties that really are different from each other with added objectives with each difficulty level you go up really creates a game catered to all different types of gamers. If you're not that good, play Agent. You can beat the game. If you want to challenge yourself, try Secret Agent. But if you really, really, really want to challenge yourself, try Double O Agent, and it will take a lot of practice to do it because this is not an easy game. But this is easily one of the greatest games ever made. Another one of these games I will be playing till the day that I die. I will introduce it to my kids, my grandkids, everybody that's important in my life because this game means as much to me as anything does and this is number two on my list but really it's number two slash one because it is just as important to me as my next game so guys we're down to my last one my number one and just to summarize this list this list was basically comprised of my memories as a kid what games were the best what games did I have the most fun with? Sprinkled in a little bit with what games have held up the best today and what new games maybe have I discovered like Killer Instinct, a game I never even played as a kid. So this game that I'm about to show you is the type of game that I think comes once every generation at best. This is the type of game that for a lot of people my age we consider it our favorite game because in my opinion this is the greatest game ever made i use the word masterpiece way too much i use it on just on a ton of the games i talk about because i love them so much but really if one game deserves a title masterpiece it's this and that is zelda ocarina of time for the nintendo 64. this is the greatest game ever made and i'll stand behind that for anybody that tries to say otherwise just thinking about, once again, being a kid, going over to a friend's house, a lot of people had this game, and a lot of people enjoyed it as much as I did, so I would go over, and even though this was a single player game, everybody would be playing it, because it was that good. This is the type of game that can turn a bad day into a good day. It has, like, the ability to just take you into its story and transport you like I said it transports me back to the 90s being a kid is something that is so special that when I turn this game on and that menu screen starts up with Link on the horse and the sappy music it is the one time I really think when I'm playing a video game I almost want to cry it is that special it's that important to me 
because starting the game up and hearing that music transports me back to a time that was simpler, a time that I didn't have to worry about anything. I didn't have to, I didn't have a care in the world. And it's just one of those things that it is the definition of nostalgia. It has the ability to just completely send chills down my spine and thoughts into my head of being a kid and playing this game. And I don't think you experience something like that unless something is so important to you. And this game is. Like I said with Goldeneye, this game is a part of my life. It's a part of my childhood that I'll never forget. Something that I will be playing the rest of my life. I think it's that special. I don't really, really know any other way to describe it. I'm not going to talk game mechanics. I'm not going to tell you why this game is good. I'm just going to tell you how important it is to me because I want to show you why. This is the top game. This is the, the best game ever made. This is the most important game to me. I don't think there's a whole lot of games that you can put in and be transported and be sent back in time to being a kid, going over and hanging out with that friend who you don't even talk to anymore, you haven't heard from in a decade. I don't know what else to say about this, but I will say that this is seriously the best game of all time, the most important game of all time to me. And one of the most important things in my life, just like I said about Goldeneye, people think that games are just, they're just video games, you know? But when you've invested so much of your life into them, when you associate such incredible, important memories with them, there's something that is like nothing else. So... With that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I know I've gone on a long time, but this is my favorite video I've ever made. And I got to share a ton of great stories with you guys. And when I made my YouTube account, this was the video I have been dying to make. Because all I want to do is tell everybody about all these great times, all these great experiences, stories I have related to these games that are personal anecdotes that are that are just specific to me, that nobody else could be able to say. And people people wonder, what's the point of hearing another top 20 list or watching another pickups video? Well, what I think will make one channel different from the other is personal experiences, personal stories. And so I hope you guys really enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and support my, my show. I'm hoping that I can do more videos like this and share more stories of mine. So stay tuned for my next episode. I had a great time making this, and I don't know if any video I make I will enjoy more than this one.